Hello and welcome to another Flashpoint Campaign's Red Storm gameplay video. We're playing the Hell on Wheels campaign scenario one. We are now in part ten. We five and a half hours into the battle, four and three hours, four about four and a half hours left. We've got a beautiful clear day, six thousand meter visibility, and the counterattack is on. I've issued ten of fifteen possible orders and just between us girls, I think it's all messed up. The more I play with the uh, the waypoint editors, I'm not sure what's going on. I've seen things get weird. In particular, down here, I found that one of these platoons, for some reason, is get, is is intending to get over here so much faster than the rest of the company that I I I can't account for it. No matter how many times I look at the waypoints. Uh, now they're kind of squared away, but if I remember correctly, somewhere in here I have to do some crazy 30-minute delay. Um, now that either needs to be done, and it'll coordinate beautifully, or they're going to go, God only knows what they're going to do. Um, I've changed my plans a bit since the end of the last uh, video. Instead of these guys here proceeding to assault the here, I just clicked and drugged their waypoints and then did some adjustments to have them landing um, not them, him uh, in this vicinity here and here uh, I kind of expect a counterattack out of here in fact I do expect a counterattack out of there in fact I kind of expect a counterattack through here <laughs> and maybe even there uh, I think I've said this two or three times every time you think you've got the Soviets on the ropes here they reach in a magic bag and pull out a couple of extra battalions. We already know that there was a battalion and more in here before this guy lost sight of them. Uh, and we killed a handful of them, but they're still meandering around. Uh, and since we don't see them running up through here, we have to assume they're still in here and maybe intending to come back this way. Even if they aren't yet, if we grab this victory point or this victory point, they will be drawn to it. Um, so, these guys are going for this. These guys are pretty much going into this neighborhood. It's a little bit milling about into that area. Um, I also have a company of mech infantry which I intend to bring down into this vicinity. Uh, and they're getting there at around, around 11 o'clock or so. So there'll be a chance to adjust those uh, waypoints as they move. I've given the artillery some orders, uh, mostly to pound a couple of suppressive fire missions on these guys, uh, and then they'll be firing according to the uh, AI for the rest of the turn. Uh, once the um, once the assaulting troops start getting closer, we'll start thinking about smoke or maybe some uh, neutralizing fire. Um, this could be real bloody, or it could just be rock and roll good times. I don't know, but what do you say, uh, instead of waiting for five minutes of me blabbering on, that we uh, push the button and uh, watch the excitement. Um, well, I say that. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, let's slow it down a little bit. Okay, well, here we go. Still the fight down in the southwest where they're trying to chase down the last remaining M1. And wow, that was a long shot and kill. Uh, unpleasant T-80s. They're just unpleasant. They're not nice. I have a bad feeling that I've got a completely disjointed attack because of the... Either my misunderstanding of the waypoint editor or some... trick to it or something I've I don't know we're about to find out now when you give guys assault orders they're gonna be sitting still for at least 30 minutes and since we've got this high EW environment or at least the last time I checked it was yeah that hurts always um, and not only that it hurt that time they actually killed somebody it's gonna be a while for any of this stuff gets moving so well at least the stuff that I just gave orders to 
that they hate that guy. <laughs> so, okay, here comes my artillery. I'm trying to husband my uh, ammunition so I'm not hitting those guys as hard as I could. Um, I'd like to have a, enough ammunition to hit those victory hexes really hard uh, as uh, as the assaulting troops get close and maybe even toss some smoke in there. Um, so I'm using suppressive fire, mostly looking, if I kill something great, mostly looking to lower their readiness, uh, soften them up. Or at least that's what I read in the manual. Um, so. interesting the AI has a funny way of focusing units and then spreading them out maybe it's as confused as I am that guy's been fighting out in the open for the longest time let's zoom in that'll make things dance around a little more severely but Maybe that's too much. Huh. I believe that was uh, the AI calling that strike. I, did, I, I think we got the two strikes that... Uh, I'm not there anymore. Thank goodness. Oh, come on now. Not only do they send the two battalions back there to clean that crowd out, then they're using their artillery, which they have plenty of, but they're using their artillery on it. Um, oh, good, the chaparrales have decided to scoot out to a place where they can probably get shot up. I'm not sure I understand the, uh, the science behind the uh, scooting about thing that the AI does sometimes. But I've bitched and moaned about that already. Now look at that. Look at that. These guys are coming down the road. I'm going to pause this thing. Let's go. Where are we? These guys are on their way in big time. Big time. And the guy who was in such a hurry hasn't started moving. Huh. Maybe I should just leave the waypoint editor alone. It might only be for grown-ups. I don't know. I'm really going to hate life if uh, two-thirds of that company shows up instead of all of it. Um, I mean, it might be enough to do anything, but I'll lose way more than I ought to. Um, and it's beginning to look like that's what's going to happen. Ouch. Yeah, it looks like I'm closing in on an objective with uh, a fraction of the the guys that I... Hmm. Well, it, the waypoint editor might not have made any sense, but it certainly is working. The, uh, the delays I worked in, those guys were just standing. It's off and running now, isn't it? That mech infantry moved in in the south to uh, take up blocking positions in case the armor in the southeast decides to strike back at that victory point hex. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. It's a uh, looks to be a completely disjointed attack. Now maybe that's intentional. Maybe it's uh, gee whiz, the waypoint editor is a uh, a suggestion. Okay, we uh, it, it's moving pretty quick right now. It might be a yeah, this is what we anticipate, but really and truly it's not going to work out that well. Um, this guy's not even gotten started because of that 30 minute delay. Um, he's gotten moving. 
he's gotten moving. These guys, on the other hand, well, when they do get moving, they're going to be moving. Um, how many orders do I have? 15. Well, I don't think I really need that many. Um, how's my artillery looking? Everybody is up and ready to shoot. These guys are moving. And the guys below them are not. Um, when do we expect to see these guys show up there? 9.57. That's in just a few minutes. So, I think this guy needs to... Ooh. No smoke. How about you? He has smoke. Um... The attack is right through here. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not sure I can lay an effective smoke screen with my available artillery. What is this guy? How far can he reach? Not that far. He can cover this this spot. But he can't. He can't do much for me up there. Um. Well, I think we need to I think I need to pause this thing and give the orders. I'll be back. Okay, well, I think uh, I've handed out a handful of orders. There's just, I mean, everything's pretty much moving. I'm a little bit miffed by this. I think, what if I zero that out? Will things get moving? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that guy's already going. I don't know if this will matter or not, but that just didn't work, did it? Uh, I don't want to be flinging accusations at the developers or the designers. It's clear I don't understand, so we'll just chalk that up to confusion. Uh, it may be that you need to sit down with a piece of paper and pencil and uh, write all this down since you can't seem to see it. You can't see it all at once. You can't easily coordinate uh, multiple units. Uh, and maybe there's a functionality I don't understand. But if there is, that would be nice to know about. Um, in any case, let's, uh, let's see just how clumsily, how uh, Awkwardly, this comes off. Let's go. Well, that got in a little faster than I thought. That got in time. I'm glad to see that. That needed to, that needed to come down. Very good. Very good. Well, I guess they didn't move in there like I thought they might. may still make it in there. They do show an indication they're trying to move that way. It could be that my artillery has kind of got them pinned. Uh, so I wasted some ICM. But uh, clearly this game becomes rather complicated to uh, to get all this smoothly uh, when they're out of smoke. Well, I'm, you got what I wanted you to do, so... Mortars are doing what 106 millimeter mortars were designed to do, and they're out of smoke. Nice, 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 nice. 
Oh, look, there's a big unit of T-80s heading south there. Well, that doesn't change much of anything. Things are twitchy. Too. I'm going to slow it down. It's getting twitchy. Maybe it's just me tonight after a long week. Okay, the mech infantry in the northwest is starting to move. They're committed to the center, but no. Oh, nice. Nice. I actually managed to coordinate those two closer than, well, kind of like I intended to. And so uh, I'm confused why I got the rest of it so screwed up. Um, I continue doing these videos. My uh, my uh, intent is not to demonstrate perfect play. For one thing, that would be oh good, nothing died. That would be extraordinarily frustrating. And oh my goodness, they caught one of my guys with counter battery and hurt it really bad. <sighs> but you know, again, not not intending to uh, to demonstrate perfect play, flawless. Uh, execution or perfect knowledge of the rules but uh, to uh, to show the kind of play that you're probably doing yourself which is uh, oops how did that happen um, and then to, to speculate about it uh, and uh, with any luck if these videos become well, more fire I don't know what they're firing at but okay uh, if these videos become more popular, maybe there'll be some comments and some discussion and uh, and uh, some of this stuff will become a little more clear uh, guys who have more experience. I wondered about that. They are going that way. Huh. And I can kind of see that. That's uh, it's, it's really shorter up through the town into this part of the world where the fight is than it is back the the way they came uh, to get back to the southeast little suburb. Okay, we've gotten that... Uh, i got to quit knocking the uh, microphone about. Taking that victory point hex. It's fixing to be a big fight in there, but I think we should get the better of that. Uh, it helped. That really helped a lot. What we're seeing, I think, is the the difference between fresh troops and those that have been in the fight. These guys are just really a lot more effective. Um, kind of the same effect we saw with the... Oh, look, we found that <laughs> headquarters stonk. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing like catching a bunch of soft-skinned vehicles. But it, again, it's the same kind of thing we saw with the, uh, the Soviets rolling those echelons of vehicles. You tear up the, the first echelon and you get all worn down and tired and running out of ammo and the second or third echelon come along and uh, uh, it gets real hard to hang on. And so this is the... Uh, I don't know what that smoke's for, but there you go. This is the other side. This ought to be interesting. This oh, there's something in there. Yeah, we found some more tanks. Yeah, nothing like driving past the, uh, the T-80s in the woods. I hope we get by there without getting too torn up. Especially since that other assaulting group is in no position to be moving anytime soon. Oh, outstanding.
Thank you very much. That's what we needed. We needed a lot more dead BMPs. Well, that's unpleasant. We may have to do something with uh, now that we're taking these things and we have our artillery isn't going to be softening up positions might have to start striking at some of these uh, awkward awkward uh, guys who are shooting at us wow that <laughs> metal honors all around down here second platoon d company fourth battalion in the fight for six and a quarter hours and they're still killing sure it was a good idea to throw those guys in. Oh, goodness. There's more guys on that road than I thought. Hopefully they're wore out and tired, and here in the next 20 or 30 minutes there'll be another company of M1s coming in their directions. Ow. Ow, I'm there. Hello. Well, there's your first green on green fratricide. Uh... Since I didn't direct that fire, I guess I, I don't feel too awkward about it. Uh, that's them. Uh, that's and, and and there's a lot of armor in there. Huh? What happened to that tank up there? That M that T80. I guess he may have gotten killed when I wasn't looking. Wow, they're still killing down there. And this really... Uh, these guys never really got going the way they're supposed to. I'm glad they're not uh, able to organize a real counter. I think it was a real concern of mine when I was setting up these orders. Let's pause this. It was that these guys here needed to get in position more or less at the same time in case there was something serious coming through here. As it is, there's one Abrams. The headquarters is on its way. And these other guys... At least two of which, yeah, two, two of those are Abrams and two of them are, well, one of them's uh, this guy. Oh, one. okay, that's the uh, the headquarters and the uh, other, see, there, this unit, this one, and those two that are you can't see underneath those Abrams are uh, A Company 4th. So, okay, how about if I get a little bit less crazy with the mouse wheel? Um, and that's fine. I don't understand why those guys aren't moving. Oh, well, let, instead of talking about it, let's push the button. And again, this could be exactly the way the game's intended to, uh, to work, which is, uh, thank you. I, we needed that. Uh, with the ECM and everything that, that sometimes... You don't get uh, you know, everything you want. I'm resisting. I'm resisting the urge to to to, to uh, sing a rolling song, song song. But you guys would hate that. That'd be the end of the channel. I, I won't do that. Ah, and that those guys who got stomped in there have scooted out in the open where they are going to be more vulnerable to 
and another M1 killed. I didn't see what got them. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what got them. Had to be one of those guys up there. Okay, well, you got them. Um, what about these guys? <laughs> nice. What about the tanks? Okay. All right. Okay, well, here we are at 25 minutes and 34 seconds in, and, and I'm totally incredulous. Uh, some of the things I've seen, these guys are still 15 minutes away. Sometime in the next uh, resolution phase, these guys are going there. These guys are going there. I think I will probably do something naughty, like, uh, well, you know, I say that. These guys get in these positions, and they probably can shoot these guys to pieces. Um, I, would I would hope. They're moving. They're moving. Um, let's see. Okay, we've had one more vehicle actually killed. And I'm hoping that really means something, that these fallen out units, that some significant percentage of them are recovered before the next campaign scenario because uh, we have really gotten beat down. Not as bad as these guys, but hey, you know, what can you say? Well, here we are, 26, 27 minutes, and uh, you've heard me whine and moan and laugh and just generally behave uh, in, in the way that I do when I'm playing. And uh, I guess we'll call this one quits. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll try to get this tied up in a knot over the weekend. See you again soon.